about it. Even when he has spent your eight years in office, that you continue to superintend to say who becomes who, whatever in River State. It somebody say me, in Lagos, it may happen in Lagos, but it will not happen in, in Rivers. We are quite different. It will, it will, not, it will not happen here. As the governor, I will come and go. I can't, I can't stop it. I must come and go. All the came I left. You've never heard of me saying that you will do this, you don't do that. The day my tenure, by the grace of God, as I go. That's how God wants it. But see, when you are in the position to think that what's happening in Lagos State, you will do it here. It may be difficult. You cannot continue to say you must be a godfather of the state. That's the problem. You can, it's not possible. Today I live here in the name of Almighty God. I have no business to say, I must, what must I produce? Why? What am I hiding? The people of the state should be able to say, this is what they want to produce. We from the last state, we don't want to lose somebody in the Peter. Mm, my people, this is the same week you know, my people. Yes, so this is week who previously condemned Tunubu's godfatherism in Lagos. He's not Tunubu's boy, and also he wants to be the political godfather of River State. Chai, wonder they say shall never end. Trust Mwike at your own risk. This man cannot be trusted, my people. How does this man even sleep at night? This is the same man that said APC is cancer. Ha! Huh, my people. But I love how Sinfubara is dealing with him because Mwike thought that he is the mini god of River State. Like he is the small Hitler of River State. But right now, Sinfubara don't show him. Say power past power. My people, Mwike has lost it already. Let me allow you guys to watch this particular video and hear what they said concerning this crisis that is going on in River State. But before then, please don't forget to subscribe like this video share it as well thanks so much for doing so given the fact that during the the swearing in ceremony governor fubara said he knew that a particular individual in the state paid some people some of them fifteen thousand, you know to go into the local government and cause issues and yet no one has been arrested what do you really make of all this well first <clears throat> what i made of it when i heard about the violence is First, we are not there yet uh, as a country, as a people. If you look at it from the, um, the judiciary, it points that if you can be used and it is evidential that you are being used and you allow yourself to be used, it's either you are not independent or you are not matured or you are naturally somebody that you to unnecessary compromise. So it first sends a signal to me that the Nigerian judiciary, compared to the judiciary in other climes, is not there yet. Then I look at the police. It also points to me that the police is not there yet. We protect life and property, which is something that is important to you. Even um, you not providing security is like you telling a, a, a human being not to breathe. Security in the life of a country is an oxygen in Nosville. So if for any reason you fail to provide this security and democracy in Nigeria now has been since 1999 uninterrupted, what that tells you is you are supposed to ordinarily learn from examples. And River State is a peculiar state. So if, if something is not new, it, let's say our democracy is six months, one year, two years or so, it is excusable. But for a democracy that has been existing since 1999, you want to imagine that, is it that you did not foresee this? And when you now withdraw security agencies from the secretariat, and you withdraw all of them, in such a way that it leaves the secretariat vulnerable. What that tells us is, it's either you have compromised, 
Is it that you are complicit okay. or you are not just a professional? Before we go too far here, uh, I think we should just uh, take a little breather, uh, watch a few of the videos, and when we come back, I have a question for you. My, my question basically borders on the election in River State. Some have said the governor overstepped because there was a court order that he shouldn't have conducted that election. Others have said Supreme Court gave an order that elections be conducted, so he did not overstep. I'd like your thoughts on this one. But that'll be after this very short short break. The whole local government council. Your your talks to burn government property down. Look at look at how they burn the whole local government council. Element local government. Interesting, interesting. Uh, that song, Day Your Day, I and mean, we you know that song, you know, that, that, that song was, uh, was basically um, linked to Wiki, Day Your Day, Make a Day My Day. Nobody worry, nobody. But unfortunately, people are worrying one another in River State. Well, that, well, that uh, happened at Equerry Local Government, where we're being joined by Prince Francis Chilaka. Good morning to you, Prince. Good morning. Moses, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. Good to have you this morning. Thank you. All right, so let me come back to the doctor now. Now, I asked the question earlier. The court judgments, what's your take? Okay, um, my take on the court judgment is, I think, like I said earlier, you know, I didn't even after I was able to, I was, I was thinking of touching like seven cadres, but I think I've touched just three. Okay. Let me stick to that three. Thank God that I have pointed out the judiciary, mm. so which is a follow-up question. It's, it's, it's against reaffirm my earlier assertion that it shows that those involved, whether the judiciary, the police, the people, the politicians, um, the presidency, the, they are just not there yet because you won't want to imagine that the Supreme Court, living to its name, is supreme. Mm -hmm. And every profession as its own hierarchy. Okay. So if a judgment is coming from the Supreme Court, for instance, if the Supreme Court in its judgment wave, waves its hand like this, ordinarily, ordinarily, as a lawyer, if the Supreme Court waves its hand like this, mm. it shows that the Supreme Court is saying, turn right. Okay. But if you, as a judge, a trained lawyer, LLB, or if you like, LLM, and you graduated from law school, you practice law, then you become a judge. You want to tell me that the Supreme Court that did like this, we are now saying, oh, the Supreme Court did not say, go right. But the Supreme Court did not wave its left hand, it waved its right hand, so basically, which to any reasonable human being will be go right. So what I'm trying to say is, if you look at it, the judiciary itself, you find whereby they are not aligning with totally with what the Supreme Court has said. You may want to argue that maybe um, the facts of the case are different, but then you want to look at it that a state high court, a federal high court, two courts of competent <coughs> jurisdiction. There is a court favoring the Fubara faction, 
which is the River State High Court. There's another one favoring the weaker faction, which is the Federal Court. So in you want to you, you want to imagine where is the synergy? For instance, for instance, let's say in um, in academic, if we all are PhD now and we are sitting on the panel, so if you disagree with me. The usual thing is that human beings are meant to disagree, but then I am to come to you, or you are to come to me. That okay, what did you see in this war? I want you. Um, so we rob minds. Basically. Yes, you rob minds. But then you, you want to imagine that is it that is it that the defendant or the plaintiff did not say that oh there is a similar case or these cases before so that court? Then why is the judge itself? What is the ego? Can't you pick phone and speak with? Your fellow judge that oh why did you grant this order in such a way that you would have agreed it, you know um, any any gray areas would have been resolved in such a way that when you are now giving um, uh, a counter order definitely by the time you are giving that order because you have resolved the matter with your fellow judge that one is stepping down that earlier order or you will okay. give your order so because in there is another form of another court the governor did not err in ensuring that elections. Uh, went ahead. The, the governor, the, the governor did not err because he has a judicial pronouncement to hold on to. Okay. The weaker faction has a judicial pronouncement to hold on to, and that's why I said, if you look at it, mm. the, if you can be conf if you can be confusing yourself, if in a democracy so the judiciary that's is confusing itself, itself right now, that means that the judiciary, as it is, is not there yet. It's All right. not there yet. Okay. Prince, welcome to the show. Thank you. You are familiar with what's going on in River State, especially what happened yesterday. And we had the president call on the police to go in and step in and maintain law and order in River State. I want you to rely on what happened, you know, what has been happening in the past one year and the seeming silence of the president. Do you think that the president is actually being democratic by allowing the two gladiators, you know, to fight it out in the turf? Or isn't it proper that he stepped in because the minister of FCT is his appointee, while the governor was elected by the people. What is your take on the president's role in the whole uh, saga in River State? Well, you know, the president has also made a statement, you know, <laughs> asking that they, they go to courts. Agreed. Court show, show me your friend, and I'll tell you the kind of person you are. This journey of Wiki didn't start today. His association with the president didn't start today. He has been planning it. And I remember um, just before the election when he came to Lagos and there was this uh, rumor that he came to learn. Uh, he came to understudy um, Mr. President. Then he wasn't a president, but I came to understudy him on how he has held Lagos captive. So you, you're talking of a president that had held the state captive for how many years and still holding the state captive. And you expect him to create a level playing ground for another person that wants to do what he has done. It's not possible. But if you You have a president who traveled on leave, so we are told, in a democratic system, and did not see the need to transfer power to his deputy. Should the president be in UK and giving instructions to the police when there's a vice president at home? Is that not an aberration? So, if anybody keeps saying, people keep saying, why has Mr. President not good? First of all, what Mr. President should have done when this whole thing started as a Democrat, which he claims to be, was to file a wiki. Well, he called them to sign a peace accord. But that was not a peace accord. Started. No, no, that was not a peace accord. You don't call, you don't bring people to a negotiating table and you allow them to come with their guns. How do you mean? Mr. That was for me, it was not a peace accord. It was the height of impunity. It just showed the kind of president we have. But do we even need the president to interfere in what is happening in a state that have a, an executive? <clears throat> the, the, the thing is that, don't forget that Nigeria is a country where every small thing people will say, do you know who I am? Now, Wike, if Wike was not a minister, do you think he would be pulling the kind of stunts he's pulling in River State? He would not. We've seen other governors who were stronger, who were, you know, better than him, who were even more stubborn. But the moment they stepped down and they had nothing to do with 
the presidency. Uh, they just fizzle out. Prince, are you saying that the president is nudging him by retaining him as a minister in his cabinet? If you have a staff who looks, in, in, who looks if you're a chairman of a company, and you have a staff who looks at your managing director or your general manager and talks to the person with impunity, and you, the chairman of the company, do not call that staff to order, what are you trying to portray? Okay. Uh, we have uh, Barrister Henry Kine joining us virtually. He's there in River State. Uh, good morning, Barrister. Some things ablaze, especially those that want to support uh, you know, Fubara during their fight and all that. Now, what do you really think it's happening? Why is it that we have not been called to order? And what is it you think is what is uh, you know, drilling or, or making his arrest not to have happened up until now? Well, first, uh, if somebody threatens to set your home and place, so you either try to get fire extinguisher or you try to come with superior fire. So I hope the governors uh, are ready. But then, you see, the, the person of Yes on Wiki is something that, for instance, Yes on Wiki aspired to be president of this country. So that means if everything has gone well, or if fortune has shined on him, <coughs> or if, if he has been in the right clique, today he would be the president of Nigeria. Yaya Belu aspired to be president of this country. If fortune has shined on him, today he will be the president of Nigeria. So if you are still asking yourself why Nigeria is the way it is, then you have an answer. And if these are the characters that we have, definitely you cannot escape it in the life of a nation that luck will shine on one of them. And when luck shines on them, this is the kind of country that we would have. I think this on Wiki as a person has failed to realize something, that in life is a cycle. And there's time and season to everything. You upstage some people. Whether you like it or not, somebody will upstage you. And even if somebody do not upstage you, death will upstage you one day. That is the truth, because where are the, are they the bulls of this world? <laughs> so, you became a governor in one day. You will leave the position in one day, because if, let's imagine that in this life, people are just being born without dying. The earth would have been so overpopulated now that maybe people will be eating so maybe there will be cannibalism because naturally the food, the housing will not be enough. So what I'm trying to say is the minister of FCT has failed to realize that there are some things that are natural in life. As a godfather, history has told us in Nigeria, and not even ancient history, you know, if I can use the word contemporary history, has told us that if you find yourself to be a governor and you try to install somebody, you are only trying your luck. If that luck does not um, shine as you think it should be, then we just take the reverse seat. For instance, an election was held on Saturday. Akwabi tried his luck by installing Udom Emmanuel. He fell out with, with Udom Emmanuel. Uh, Akwabi kept his cool. It was because Akwabi kept his cool that uh, Akwabi bomb is peaceful today. Now, you now want to imagine that who is the minister of FCT? The, who is... Um, Gosul Akwabio. Gosul Akwabio today ranks three out of over 200 million. It takes maybe extra smartness or extra grace for you to be number three out of over 200 million. Now, who is Yeson Wiki? He's the minister of FCT. And I have asserted that the minister of FCT, in terms of the senior ranking ministers, you know, we have minister of state. In terms of the senior ranking minister, the minister of FCT is the lowest rank. And why do I argue that? How as a minister, rank? yes, as a minister in Nigeria, mm. your constituency is the whole of Nigeria. But as minister of FCT, your constituency is just FCT. So That's interesting. If you want to, if you want to, That's an interesting yes, session. if you want to, if you want to take that, okay, FCT. Um, what is the percentage of FCT in Nigeria? If I can borrow the word of Buhari, FCT <laughs> will be like a dot in a circle. <laughs> So it's interesting if, because, 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 you know, some will say the minister of the FCT is occupying the position of a governor. But since there's no governor in the FCT, 
That's why we have a minister of the FCT. You see, um, the, the, the minister of FCT, um, the president, Bola Metinumbu, used it to Tim Wiki because he knows that from... But, but from before, before you proceed, doesn't the minister of the FCT literally equate to being the governor of a state? Thank you. A governor of his, for instance, Sonwolu of Lagos State, anything he wants to do, can only operate within Lagos State. If you cross Badagui to Bene Republic, you'll find himself in problem. If you cross Bega to Mowe, you'll find himself in problem. He's elected and with, cannot be thrown out. With a um, minister with, that is appointed with, uh, and be thrown out. Governor Dakwabiodu, the Eleyi <laughs> of Ogun State, you know, as Christian on him by his political godfather. And Eleyi means this one. This one. Or come on you, <laughs> you know. Now, so the thing is, as minister of FCT, by my assertion as a political scientist, you are the lowest rank because your area of jurisdiction is only the FCT. Now, I was making a comparison. I don't want to lose my train of thought. Now, if Aquabio lost out in the state and he installed Udom Emmanuel and his number three and his state is calm, now let us swipe. Mm -hmm. If yes on Wiki was to be number three, because if you are to rank in Nigeria today, we rank the chief justice and everybody. I'm not sure yes on weekend will be up to number 50. Because for me, you first rank every minister first. Whose area of constituency is the whole of Nigeria? So if yes on weekend is the president, because he had presidential ambition, imagine how river state will be today. Two, if yes on weekend is the Senate president, by virtue of the comparative analysis of Godfatherism, if Yeson Wike is the Senate president, definitely he would have used his capacity to perhaps, when all ships are down, to force a um, state of emergency on the river state because it would have been a tit for tat kind of thing. In the sense that you have a presidency that doesn't want to be properly scrutinized in the true world of scrutiny. Now, you now have a Senate presidency that is willing to approve anything. So if yes or is the is the Senate president and he is asking the president that please we need a state of emergency in River State, you will see that all these things that are happening, if you want to declare a state of emergency, there are willing tools that are willing to throw bomb, kill this one, you know, bomb that so bomb that say, one and just, say sorry, that sir, just a moment. A state of emergency would have emerged and once that is declared in Nigeria, so that it will not be an abuse of office for the president, when state of emergency is declared, you need to take it to the Senate. So if yes on weekend, today is the Senate president, that means he will just lobby the presidency to declare it, and you have a willing Senate president that we are farming. Well, 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 uh, sorry, please. Sorry, please. I, want okay. to, I want to come to uh, um, <laughs> Prince Chief. Francis now, but, but I must say, it's, it's a good thing for governors, if similar like it, that uh, Wike is not the president of the Senate. <laughs> if it is, he's lucky. Mm -hmm. So, but let's hear, let's, <clears throat> let me get your opinion on uh, something that the president said. Now, in an interview yesterday, Simon Alayev Ufubara was, you know, somewhat apprehensive that his name was mentioned when the president, through uh, the, his uh, spokesman, Bayon Onduga, said, look, let the governor, Simon Alayi Fufubara, and other political actors settle their differences and all, you know, aggrieved parties should take the case to court. I'm not quoting verbatim now. I'm just, you know, paraphrasing. And the governor was a bit unsettled that his name alone was mentioned. Should the president have mentioned Wike? Is the president shielding Wike? Is the president has the president been made aware that uh, WK is no, I, I, perpetrating no, this? I, I, I th if I think, not, I think where I get where I get that? upset is when people come up and say the president might not be aware. This president is fully aware. This president knows what is happening in Rivers. This president is supporting the carnage, the destruction. The president going on. is supporting yes, the carnage. Yes, he is. The How so? Yes, he is because so? he should have. This see, the president should have tamed this thing before now. 
Let us, let, us, let, let us be very honest with ourselves. They is as democratic as he claims. He ought to know the right thing to do. He ought to know that once your tenure, right once your tenure has expired as a governor, what will be the right thing? The right thing. Once your tenure has expired as a governor, yes, you should give way. I was I was watching a video of Wiki yesterday, and you know, and I said to myself, Nigerian politicians are worse than four one nine as we have. There was an Yahoo Yahoo boys we have on the street, and it's I'll tell you why. Yesterday there was a video that's been circulating where Wiki said with his own mouth that after God. In River State, the next person is the governor. And that if you are challenging the governor, you are challenging God. And that if you are challenging the governor, you do not know how much power the governor has. The governor has. A man who could say that has turned around the same state he built in court. We are here. Tomorrow, when he's coming up for presidency, they say he built really? River State. The same state he built. He's at the forefront of destroying it. Prince Chilaka, Prince Chilaka, talking about Wike, with what happened on Saturday where he was clearly routed, you know, by the proxy party of the governor, are we seeing the end of Wike's political relevance in River State? He's fighting his last fight. Last fight? That's what he's doing. He's fighting his last fight. See, let me, you know, when the president did that infamous um, peace arrangement. A lot of us said that um, Fubara, even though gave the impression that he can't bite, he said he was planning. And the smartest move, the smartest move was the fact that it was not PDP that cleared the local government. It was not APC. It's a different political party. In other words, what the governor has succeeded in doing is to create more enemies for Wilson Wiki. So don't you think that uh, some yeah, people left PDP or OPC? To it doesn't, it doesn't, for me, it doesn't PDP. matter. For the fact that the fight is now between Wiki, PDP, and is the APP. Yeah, APP and AC. So there are more people. We cannot has more people to contend with. You think NDP will sit down and allow those who have won election with their party to be rubbish? They will not. All right. Uh, but let's... I feel sorry at the end of the day. I feel sorry that um, the Rivers people, the so-called youths in Rivers, the so-called uh, thugs, political gladiators, they are allowing themselves to be used to destroy their state. I pray and I hope that Rivers does not turn out to become emo state. But Honestly, politics is a game of interest. Like these, our politicians, there are more than 419. Yes, my people, look at their antecedent. Look at what Wike said when he was governor of River State. He even mocked Tunubu saying that Lagos is not River State, that someone will come and say that he is the godfather of River State. And he is going to, you know, leave River State after his tenure is over that he is not going to produce anyone. My people, look at what is happening now. Even Tunubu is even better than Nwike. He is doing his all with force, with violence, with everything bad he can talk of, my people. Nwike just want to use his hand to destroy the river state that he said that he built, my people. But it's quite unfortunate that even our youth are even helping all these evil politicians to destroy our own state, my people. This is really, really shameful. It is high time for River State to be wise because Wike is fighting his last fight. He knows that he has already lost it. That is it, my people. I I bring this update to you guys. Please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share it. Thanks so much, everyone, for watching. And I will see you guys in my next update. Goodbye for now.